Uh, the game's uh, game's very good at crafting uh, and in story. It does a good job of believable um, environmental storytelling. It's hard not to um, get sucked into it. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Let's see, so it seems like Central America, around Panama, got a chunk chewed out. I think it looks like Japan is gone as well. Or maybe no, I'm, maybe it's too far north and I just can't see it very well. Alright, um, data log? What happened? What happened to what? The, the, uh, the thing before before I hit BRB. Oh, oh! It seems like it's showing a heat map of their spread. I don't know if they were, um. consuming like the land itself and I mean it does it goes red but now it's flashing back to blue so I'm not sure hopefully we can find out a little bit more can't carry oh. more I thought is there a data thing Nothing, nothing that jumped out at me in that data log. <laughs> what was it saying that I have full? Oh, health potions. Man, it just seems to be throwing health potions at me. I need to, I need to be using more of those, I guess. Compared to um, my medicine pouch. These will keep. Oh, damn. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be combat straight ahead. Oh, cutscene. The eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Is it making? Do they have do they have its production facilities online? Can 
suffer, not the Kopesh to live. Oh! Ow. Alright, yep, that's one way to die. Okay, so I need to... Alright, I can hit those two dudes with fire arrows, but I can't stand still. I need to... I need to find out which way to get down. Standing still is a death sentence. <laughs> Look, you have to understand, that guy did one push-up every time, um... The Eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. Um, one of their bases was destroyed. But I don't think they can Hello, Iris. Hello. Watch yeah, out. I've been I feel like I've been running on adrenaline and caffeine for the past 48 hours. Um, it's been crazy. Uh we actually somehow um unlocked another emote slot, so obviously I had to put in um I had to put in sob because that's basically been me um since Wednesday. Constantly. <laughs> uh, it's it's certainly interesting being on this side of the streamer chat divide now. It's like, wait a minute, now I'm the one being bullied. <laughs> All right, don't know how to get down. Uh, I should have figured that out first. Uh, uh, uh. Um, I see yellow. Can I... Oh, repel down. Oh, there's a couple other things I've put in. Gotta run. If I remember correctly, it has like some floors that are now. Oh, my face. But I need to overheat first. Oh, yeah, 200 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Oh jeez. Ooh, there's the, the heat sinks. Ah, stop shooting me with missiles! They interrupt me! 
Oh, I'm out of health potions. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! That's not a big point! Oh, I should have aimed for its legs. Can I do a critical attack? Oh, never mind. I'm too far away. Yes! We did it! Just let go. We had to fight hundreds of those all at once. Now, if only the animated emojis were not in Twitch jail. Because one of them has the rave effect. <laughs> Would have been perfect this scam. Yeah, in the, in the world in the world of Horizon Zero Dawn, um, appar apparently everyone is like has steel for bones, carbon nano prepared. nano weave muscles, iron skin. Uh, they probably bench press two kilos. Actually, I don't know. I don't know the translation between pounds and kilos, because I think bench pressing 2,000 pounds is decently impressive, but I don't know if 2,000 kilos is as impressive. Also, what up, Pandacle? Yeah, yeah it's, been a, it's been a wild ride this week. It's just unfortunate that I gotta wait. Um, it's gonna take like three or four months before I can have the uh, follower emotes. Okay, so more like five five kilo bench press would be somewhat impressive if that if, if like everybody could do that level of bench press like as a baseline. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That's... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting food this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it and it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. Tell me what Zero Dawn is! So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains oh, the war plan for Operation stretch. Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Iris, thanks for the gift sub to Panda Cult. Panda Cult, enjoy the, uh... Hope you enjoy the Drecky emotes. Launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth hmm. do? If I noticed right, it didn't. Ah! <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> oh, that just tickles me. Mm. Thank you for the head bats. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta, you gotta rest your throwing arm. Don't wanna, don't wanna, don't wanna overexert yourself. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Like some kind of mesh network. Imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. <sighs> All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. We take out the 5G towers. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Oh, right. The world, she knew her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. Got some level ups, some... Oh, wow, I have a lot of skill points. Ah! All right. <laughs> you got... You, you got a good throwing arm there, Panda. You got me again. <laughs> I thought... I thought so. Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. Oh, is it time for some SSX Tricky? I'm about to fall to my death, aren't I? And, ow! My ankles! <laughs> Whee! Yeah, I don't. I don't want y'all to tire out your uh, your arms. Now you gotta you gotta rest. I like the very faint techno sounds in this ambiance music. That kind of. Hope you have a good lurk, and uh, thanks for stopping by, Panda. Alright, I feel like, uh, Alloy, are you okay there? Okay. She, uh, only loaded in halfway. Yeah, internal organs are supposed to stay internal. Um, when your internal organs become external, it, uh, is not healthy. Uh, do not recommend. Oh, oh, there we go. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. 
Yeah, we need to we need to design some kind of lift to take us back up there. Uh, it seems a lot of those machines are no longer in this area. Curious. Where's the quest got me going? Oh, way the truck over there. Um, let's take... Actually, hold on. Okay, yeah. Let's... Oh, I gotta respend my skills, don't I? Yep, because I died without any saving. I want stronger strikes. Okay. And fast travel. Let's not run that entire bloody way if we can avoid it. Okay, while this loading screen's going, I think I noticed one mess up on my commands that I would like to fix. Do, 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 do. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Events. And, ah, uh, yep. Yep. Didn't specify an action. That's why. All right, I guess I'll hydrate. What, are you saying this coffee isn't enough liquid for me? Um, uh, where did I put? Oh, you know what? It's in stream elements, isn't it? Blood and ashes, yep. Let us fix that. Maybe that fixes it? We'll see. Um, I think I noticed uh, it wasn't doing uh, when when with the with the gift sub. It didn't look like it was doing the uh, the event it was supposed to be doing. This isn't up to their usual standard. Or at least I didn't see the uh, the animation play. Just the uh, just the power snake. That's all I got at the moment. I kind of want to get a variation on that song specifically to use as like a starting soon or for my BRB. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the the stream elements default. I didn't I didn't notice that it has inbuilt like variations. Which is a bugger. I've been trying to find out if I can do text to speech with my bot, but doesn't have the voice I would want to be using because it's in um, it's in stream elements, and I haven't seen a way yet to like 
just hook stream elements and use its TTS, but then do everything else with uh, my bot. I've had to put them in stream elements instead of setting them up as um, videos and sounds on um, controlled by the bot itself. Because like the the raid stuff I have set up is just the the bot pulling, um, basically pulling in data from whoever is raiding yeah, in. You can use this. Populating some stuff and then uh, showing showing the screens for a period of time and then uh, rehiding them. Which got a little bit finicky because I had to manually set, like, I had to manually line up the time of the sound effects and the duration of visibility. Which wasn't too bad. I kind of, I don't mind that finickiness if it gives me control over it on my side rather than having to depend on a third party service. I don't know. I'm always I'm always naturally skeptical of a whenever I have to rely on a third party resource because I don't I'm not really a programmer um, as much as I can cludge things together. So I never know 100% exactly everything it's doing. I know we always everyone just clicks past the terms of service and all that jazz. Like there's just Way too much to be dealing with there. Got your horn. Got your life. Ow! All right. Me too. I heard it charging, and I still bloody... Ooh. Come on, don't miss point blank. Don't miss point blank. Okay. That was still an embarrassing showing, but whatever. Oh, that was cool. That was a cool hit. All right. We took the rams by the horns. That's a big kitty. Where's tall grass? Where's tall grass? I have 700 pieces of wood. What the heck? I wonder if I can convert wood into something more useful, because, uh... Dang. I guess I can just sell batches of it. Ooh, is that a new? Freeze Bellow back. Ayo. Oh no, we saw, um... They're made by specific robots that are the factories. So I think normally they just gather resources and they take it back to the cauldron or the, um, what was it, the Helios, I think it was. That was the, like, major producer one. All right, so we have not fought a cryo. Let's go ahead and harvest it. 
Um, we found that cauldron seems to be making the normal wildlife. Um, and we did see in one of the laboratories of Pharaohs talking about a combat deployment machine that can make more machines. Uh, so my current theory, the current running theory, is that that machine, that combat machine that can make more machines is the thing that went rogue. One of those went rogue. And so I think Hades is like the general AI and it's controlling one of those. Last, last um, Friday, we certainly got um, a good bit of stuff. Oh, there is an ad starting soon. Sorry about the earlier warning. You can always sub to track ads. Or, if you have a Prime sub, make sure you use those. So you're basically taking money directly out of Bates' pocket. And ain't that the most ethical death you can do? Ow, 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 hot, 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 hot. Let's, uh, let's just run. Let's just run. Let's get out of here. Let's run. Fly, you fools! I'm talking about me. I'm the fool here. Okay, I got out of their territory. We good. Actually, can I make more potions? I need potions. Uh, okay. Fine, don't let me harvest. Corruption glaze root. Interesting. I imagine I use that for corruption ammo. Hardy little plant. You'll help. Give me medicine. Where's those graveborn mushrooms when you need them? but I'm used to it. See, I would have a mushroom pun in response, but I'm, I'm just drawing a blank. I guess you're just toadstooling the line. Yes, I know that was very forced. <laughs> oh, I need to go that way. Far for me to be pedantic. Ow! Ow! 
My ears! Oh, that's right, they can do a lot of things. Shoot your tail feathers, your tail cylinders. They do a very good effect. I do love the uh, the fact that it does like it's, it's a sonic attack, so it's making your ears ring when you get hit by it. Oh, electricity. Uh, that's why they're not breaking. Oh wow! All right, blowing up their bellow sacks. There's a big old bada bing bada boom. guys are the ones that I just light their butts up. <laughs> uh, that's a wrap. Easy peasy. Those, uh, those deer sure are explosive. You know, it's, it's all that methane, you know. I've heard I've heard cows produce a lot of it, but I guess uh, I guess robo deer do as well. Uh, where is my objective? I need to go around this mountain range. Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. Or no, I could go... I think the path south is better. I feel like, uh, hmm, it is a tough decision. Because I would say, like, the massive reduction in uh, humans and industrial, like, production would reduce, um, you know, emissions and that build up. But these are robots, and they're obviously still manufacturing. I guess it really depends on if it was the uh, the Grey Goo Nano Swarm, if it was down to um, uh, Foglets. So Foglets are a theoretical microscopic um, machine that's basically operating at the level where it could be manipulating um, molecules. So. A foglet swarm would be a kind of technological entity which could, like, physically be putting together uh, or taking, like, the oxygen out of carbon or, like, putting um, various atoms together to, to like, 
manually, quote unquote, change um, elements. And like, obviously, there's nuclear forces to consider there with fusion and fission, um, which is why it's a theoretical concept. But I mean, if we if we could manipulate molecules at that level, um, obviously, such things as buildups of gases would no be no problem. Um, you have nothing that's an upgrade for me, my dude. But I do want to buy some fast travel packs. And I do want to buy some meat. Do you have meat? Please tell me you have meat. No! I meant I need to save up for the golden fast travel pack. That's right. Because it gives me unlevel, unlimited fast travel. Shit. Man, there's gotta be someone that sells game meat. Because it'd be a pain in the butt to have to manually get all of the meat for potions by myself. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. Same thing we do every day, Alloy. Try to take over the world. Alloy and the brain. Alloy and the brain. One is a genius. The other is insane. There are the handholds. That read said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. What about getting stop? <gasps> nope! Can't grab that! <sighs> okay, I didn't t I took like one damage. That's no big deal. Take a seat at the campfire and we'll have a little chat. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our hard, purpose hard, this hard, night hard. is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. <laughs> That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. Oh, no, 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 no. A tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Graft it into the top of its disc. You'll find a module of sorts. I have watched Destroy too that, many and the focus network will crash. cave horror stories. To be so crawling into a tiny crevice never been part of that is anything. barely big enough for my body. I serve my own interests always. Please don't but make me go into a cave like that. It is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. 